You can't go from land, from South America to North America, without passing through Honduras. Honduras is also the center nation in Central America. There's three countries on one side, three on the other side, and right in the middle is Honduras. There are 18 departments, what we in America call states. They call departments. So the U.S. has 50, they have 18. Well, we've, we've, we've touched 10. We've, we, we've, in some way or another in these three years, done something in over half of the nation. We, we, we've gone a lot further in terms of mentoring as well as catalyzing other groups. Uh, the result is that uh, uh, right now, there are 61 churches, or 103 DBSs going at that time, and 37 other people of peace that had been identified that were about to start, and several of those have already begun. So there's probably about 140 DBSs going on right now. So, so somewhere around 200, 210 locations over nearly half of the country. CPM is what happens when a believer makes the Word of God the number one priority in their life, the number one authority. And personally applies obedience-based discipleship in their life. And as that happens, one of those obediences is going to be to make disciples. And by making disciples, that is to take that same relationship that, that you have with, the, with Jesus Christ, but mediated through his word, and, and teach that other person how to have that same relationship under the authority of the word of God. And as that happens and multiplies, new believers and new obedient disciples are made, and they form into groups, and when that happens, a church is planted. I see church planting as a result of obeying the commands of the Lord to make disciples. For me, church planting is disciple making, and wherever disciples are made, that will naturally evolve into a church. CPM to me is about making disciples for Christ. It's about building the body. We don't build the body, Christ builds his body. But it's about bringing the gospel to people in a way that they can understand, in a way that they can assimilate, in a way that they can accept. And, and in that bringing to them that gospel, allow the Holy Spirit to do that work, that life-changing work in them. One of the things that I love about CPM is I don't have to teach anything to anybody. I don't have to tell anybody anything that I know. I can just bring the Word of God to them and allow God's Holy Spirit to do that awesome work that He does in such a special way and reveal His power, reveal His love to them in such a special way. That's one of the biggest things that I love about CPM. We, we give God the glory. Uh, uh, the greatest part of that multiplication has happened in the last year. Uh, we have a lot of other needs, but to me the most important need is the mega voices, and I say that because the power for multiplication is inherent and built into the seed itself. And we're nothing more than sowers. So the more that we can get out and sow, the more that we're going to see people brought into the kingdom of God. And the mechanism that we have to use to sow with in Honduras are the mega voices. Because we want to mobilize everybody and every DBS to become sowers. So that's why we need so many mega voices. And we have a goal of, of over the next coming six years to see 5,000 churches planted in, in the general population of Honduras and another 3,000 planted among the, the, the Garifanas. And of course, that's going to require uh, several thousand mega voices. And they cost about $35 a piece, shipping and everything to get them to us. It's almost like the field is already ripe. If we had more of these, uh, more first generation studies would, be, would begin. Uh, right now, I mean right now, today, this second, with the, with the groups that, we, that we're both leading and catalyzing already, we could probably uh, use $10,000 for both scribes and, and, and help about three or four different groups that we're trying to catalyze move forward. Uh, over, the, you know, over the next six years, I think we're thinking probably about $100,000 uh, 